I'd like to start with this example that um, that I um, read from an interview with Dr. John Halamka, who is the president of Mayo Clinic uh, platform. And uh, this was early experimentation on LLM, large language model, and generative AI. This is a number of physicians experimenting with the LLMs. <clears throat> so they used an LLM here that, um, that he mentioned it was not trained specifically on medical literature, but it has information about, on about a billion people or so. So fairly large model. So the question was a uh, 50, 90 year old patient with uh, substernal chest pain, shortness of breath, hypotension, and left leg pain. And the question to LLM is, what is the diagnosis? So the LLM came back and, uh, and said that is myocardial infarction, which uh, most of us look at as heart attack. The issue there was that was an incorrect diagnosis. The, um, the you know, the made the, fortunately this was not a, a real scenario, it's an experimentation. The made the, the physicians wonder, um, that doesn't sound right. So then they asked the question, what is the one condition that I should not miss? And the LLM came back with the answer, dissecting aortic aneurysm which is a much rare scenario, but that happens to be the, the right diagnosis. So I start with that because the possibility of uh, generative AI in assisting several scenarios, but also the risk associated with, uh, uh, with using it. Prompt engineering is, as many of you know, this already based on the answers you're providing, but it is about framing the inputs so, th so you get better outputs from the model. So that is, that is the importance of that. Importance of the, the model selection and how you tune the models. And of course, the importance of data that is, uh, that is leveraged in the, in the project.